Section 10, Financial Resources for Welfare Work. Chapter 34, Our Individual Responsibility. An individual work committed to Christ's followers. Christ commits to his followers an individual work, a work that cannot be done by proxy. Ministry to the sick and the poor, the giving of the gospel to the lost, is not to be left to communities or organized charities. Individual responsibility, individual effort, personal sacrifice is the requirement of the gospel. Ministry of Healing, page 147. Needs supplied as we impart. Christ has bidden us through the prophet, Deal thy bread to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul. When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. He has bidden us, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. But how often our hearts sink, and faith fails us as we see how great is the need, and how small the means in our hands. Like Andrew... Looking upon the five barley loaves and two little fishes, we exclaim, What are they among so many? Often we hesitate, unwilling to give all that we have, fearing to spend and to be spent for others. But Jesus has bidden us, Give ye them to eat. His command is a promise, and behind it is the same power that fed the multitude beside the sea. In Christ's act of supplying the temporal necessities of a hungry multitude is wrapped up a deep spiritual lesson for all his workers. Christ received from the Father. He imparted to the disciples. They imparted to the multitude and the people to one another. So all who are united to Christ will receive from him the bread of life, the heavenly food, and impart it to others. The disciples were the channel of communication between Christ and the people. This should be a great encouragement to his disciples today. Christ is this great center, the source of all strength. His disciples are to receive their supply from him. The most intelligent, the most spiritually minded can bestow only as they receive. Of themselves they can supply nothing for the needs of the soul. We can impart only that which we receive from Christ, and we can receive only as in we impart to others. As we continue imparting, we continue to receive, and the more we impart, the more we shall receive. Thus, we may be constantly believing, trusting, receiving, and imparting. The work of building up the kingdom of Christ will go forward, though to all appearance it may move slowly and impossibilities seem to testify against advance. The work is of God, and he will furnish means and will send helpers true, earnest disciples, whose hands also will be filled with food for the starving multitude. 